All right, here we go. We have a corridor of death staring at us. Three ranged bandits, a melee bandit with a battle hammer, which will stun. And it's going to give him plus five to hit in close combat. And I think I've all but decided if we survive this, we're getting out of here. This has been a long dungeon. We're carrying too much stuff. We need to go rest, recuperate, travel back to the capital, and come back and delve another day. So we'll try to get through this and then come back. So um, we need to put some tokens in the bag. We're going to have six for the good guys, four for the bad guys. We have a big old corridor of death. We'll level up as well when we go rest, so it's another reason to kind of reset so we can see some different stuff. All right. The melee guy has two armor and a shield. The other guys have one armor, longbows and daggers. Let's roll scenario and get to it. Yeah, five. And we'll go to the bag. Everybody's got 12 health. Let's get in there and cause some pain. I think we'll charge. Maybe we just start, maybe we just move and attack. Give us a plus 10, which will negate our encumbrance. So I feel like that's worth it. Yeah, we'll do a charge. So we need, uh, it's a 56, but they do have a minus five on the bandit card. So 51% chance to hit here. Ah, and an 86, so that is not going to work. Hmm. Okay. So that unfortunately is a miss. Let's go back to the bag. Another good guy. Him in. One, two. We could charge as well. Sure, let's do that. We'll charge attack as well, giving us a plus 10. Negating our encumbrance, but minus five. So we need a 63 to hit here. And why not spend our energy point to do an extra damage die if we can? So 63 to hit here. Yeah, 53. All right. Let's roll a couple D6. And hit for five, but we'll move everybody back. Move in here. Five minus the armor that they have, so this guy is going to take four. First blood is drawn. To this guy. That's a lot of people to keep track of here. We kind of can't do anything else. I don't think we could shoot through. All right, a good guy. We'll just have Monty move in. One, two, three. Maybe we could focus. That would go away at the beginning of his next turn, I think. Okay, so I think we can focus, but the next possible action has got to be to cast the spell. So we'll wait to cast the spell next time, but I don't think we lose it. But he is focused, so we'll get a plus 10 at whatever he's going to cast next. All right. Right, and then Dorlin gets to go, but I'm not sure what else he can do. Hmm. It's 
don't think he can shoot through our people. So we'll just, I kind of have to wait and then forego here. Um, I think these ranged guys want to go first. They would have to move out of melee and then do a ranged attack. It should be 50. All right, so that'll miss. So he'll need to reload. Um, maybe he moved back even farther. Because then this guy can move back. Shoot. He'll miss as well. And then this guy would just shoot and reload. Yeah, all these misses. This corridor is intense. And then this guy, I think he don't think he could well, you know, he could move through his people, I think. So now he could come up here and do an attack. So the model may move up to its full movement if a model decides to move or second. Okay. Model may move diagonally, even diagonally between friendly models, but may not move through certain obstacles or other models. Okay, you can move diagonally through... Okay, I think you can move like this. It says you can move diagonally through models, but you can't move through... Like, can't go straight through. So I think he stays here, unfortunately. All right, that's interesting. You can move through models, but it has to be diagonal. Like you're just kind of scooching through. All right. Eight on the scenario. We'll go back to the bag. It's quite the encounter here. I've probably moved straight through I did, I've read that the, you can move through between models, but I didn't realize it was diagonal. I've probably missed that. All right, a good guy. So we'll move one, attack the wounded guy. Maybe we didn't want to push. I think we could charge again, couldn't we? I think you, because you can move up to one of the models. Let's do that. We'll charge the guy right in front of us to again negate the encumbrance damage to our skill roll. Meaning it's that 51 roll needed again. 51, 96. Nope. Okay. Charge again. So 63. Yeah, 14. More roll damage here on a D6. Four minus one, so hit for three. This guy is wounded. Oh, he's so close to death. He's one away. All right. And now we're just kind of stuck again. <laughs> <laughs> this is a weird, weird place to, to do this. Oh, but he charged, so he's going back. This is weird. I know, I think I've kind of messed myself up here with it, at least to make this interesting. Really not sure what to do. We could back up and let them come to us, but I don't really want to do that. Yeah, I don't really know exactly what to do here. We could just keep kind of wasting AP. I mean, these two guys have to reload. They can't shoot because they're next to somebody. He could move back. Right, and these guys can't really do anything either. So 
continue to close the gap. But he has to, he doesn't really have a spell he can do. We'd lose focus. One, two. And then we can maybe do lay on hands here, or not lay on, the evil lay on hands, hand of death. Um, but that feels a little cheap. It feels like we're adjacent, I think. So yeah, we'll say he can do that. Well, at first we gotta activate somebody. Hang on, I'm getting ahead of myself. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, just kind of in a weird position here. There's not much to do. Okay. Not to move in. We'll lose focus. So we'll try to do hand of death on this guy. Forty six should be okay. We'll ignore armor. Hit him for nine. That guy's wounded too. Hand of death, that guy. All right. All right, that guy. So he can't really do anything except reload. He could move. And probably shoot. Uh, we'll say he moved. This guy moves back. Reloads. Actually, no. It would make. I guess. We'll say he could move. So I don't think he shot last time. And he can shoot there with fifty. Yeah, another miss. Okay. Oh, but he's wounded, so he can only move. Gosh, this is this is weird and complicated. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a mess. All right, who else? But I think he would move out of the way so the melee guy could get, could get in there. All right, then Dorlin will just move in. I guess. So the rest of the guys need to activate. He can't shoot, he's adjacent, but he would reload. He won't move there. He could move. He wouldn't block though, I don't think. All right, let's check the AI here. Okay. So always changes to close combat if adjacent. Okay. So that means this guy would just switch weapons to a dagger. Right? And then these two guys would also switch to daggers. So he'd switch to a dagger, and that's his movement. Actually, he might... Uh, but always switches to dagger if adjacent. So that means he wouldn't move out of the way. Just switch to dagger so he wouldn't make room for this guy right if he always switches to close combat if adjacent oh this is complicated okay switch to dagger switch to dagger switch to dagger and attack i think how much does switching weapons cost is it one ap or two ap yeah change gears one ap so he would change to a dagger and then he'll attack according to the table this guy's not wounded. Make more room. Okay, he would make room though. What a mess. Okay. Let's just say he attacks Bomber. And it's going to be special skill. I'll just attack. Uh, standard or, yeah, yeah, standard 50. 18, dagger's a d6, just one damage, and location, it's torso, I'm pretty sure Bomber's got enough to block that. He 
yeah. We're gonna do stuff. Oh, our lockpick got hit. We lose a lockpick. Definitely time to leave now. But yeah, no damage. Actually, I think our leather vest is broken, so he will take one damage. Okay. And then this guy, I think, is just out of luck. He'll hop back and forth. So I'll say that. Weird. What a weird encounter. Okay. Uh, we got a, We did have a strike to the chest for... Nearly two. Yeah, but nothing got hit. He has that torch. Okay. Let's start another round. One bandit close to death. Another one getting there. Another bandit that can't really do anything. Scenario three. Okay, good guy. Um, we'll just attack with Bomber one at a time so we can maybe attack another guy. All right, so we're not charging. So now it's minus 15 to hit this guy. Okay, so 53 is what we need. Yeah, 10. Okay, damage. We can roll more than one. We rolled a two. <laughs> okay, so that guy's dead. Awesome. He'll now attack. It could move in. Uh, no, I think we just attack where we are, maybe. guy's almost dead too. Let's attack him. 53, 81. Second one misses. Okay. Next up is a bad guy. So nobody has any ranged weapons anymore. Uh, no one can charge. No one really can make room. There is room now for everyone to get in. Enemy adjacent is going to attack. So one of these two guys, we'll say the top is the first three. Yeah, so the top guy, the wounded guy, will attack. Um, he has three options. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. He'll move here to try to hit the guy that just attacked him. With a 50. 69, so he'll miss. And that's his go. Oh, another bad guy. He's adjacent, so he'll attack Bomber as well. Do it twice. 50. First one's a miss. Second, well, let's see if he does a power attack. No, standard. So two standards. First one, or second one hits. The dagger's a d6. So six damage. Location. Six. All right, okay. In the legs, swipe. Swipe to the legs. Ooh, no... Bomber there, so Bomber takes another six. He's down to four. He's wounded now. Ouch. Ooh, should we try to dodge? Let's try to dodge. This dodge is 
59 minus 10, 49. 45 successfully dodges. Okay, cool. All right, and then... <laughs> the big boy gets to go. Okay, he'll move up here. Try to attack. He's got a battle hammer. I'm gonna lose an AP if damage is even. Yeah, 89, he'll miss though. Okay. Other heroes? Neely. Attack the wounded guy in front of him. He's a 51. Actually, 46, I believe. Yeah, 46. There we go. Not a 94. Second attack. 44, barely. D10 piercing that one. So six damage this guy's going down to. Mondi can scooch in. I think I'll do that. We'll move in. Hand of death on this guy. Monty's feeling brave. So, let's cast an Arcane Arts check. All right, so 73, 63. It's really just a 55, because we're encumbered now, too. Five. Got it with a four and a crit. I think we may have increased already. I think you can only do that once per dungeon. We can do bloodlust. Deep so roll twice, take the higher. Seven. Or seven. We'll choose seven. So the big guy has seven. That was risky, but I feel like that's a good choice because of ignoring the armor. Ah, oh, you know, we forgot the combat check. I think both times. So we need like within a 44. Yeah, eight. Okay. Good. Uh, Dorlin, we'll just kind of move. Kind of just waiting here. All right, start a new round. Scenario. Ooh, a nine, okay, all against threat. Up to nine. I still think after this we retreat. This damage reduction and or the skill reduction of the rolls. It's tricky. Okay, good guy. So I think Bomber can just poke once. Oh, you know what? I've been counting a bunch of shields 
here, but it's only the melee guy that has shields. So we took some some reduction there when we didn't need to. Ah, my brain is swimming. Okay. So this is a minus 15. So this is a 53. Yeah, 23. Damage is two. That'll bounce off all his armor. All right. Bad guy. Um, these are both engaged, so let's roll. The guy on the left would go with his dagger. Who is he attacking? Uh, Monty. Okay. Needs a 50. Missed. Okay. Good guy. I think we'll have Monty move. Uh, back here. To try to heal. Mr. Berry Hill. Oh, I should have had him do that first. Extra action out of Bomber. All right, so this is a minus six on the casting value. Who else? The other bad guy wants to go. He wants to attack here. Wounded, he'll just attack once. Bomber needs a 50. 96, he misses. He's rattled. All right. Now, I think we charge with Neely. Make room for Doralyn if possible. All right, so that's plus 10. So it's really just a straight roll here of our... 56, 87, unfortunately that's a miss. Okay. And Dorlin, I think we'll just move this way to line up for next time. Hopefully we can push or make some room. Oh, longest corridor fight ever. Scenario five. Let's try to finish it. Come on, come on. Okay, good guy. Let's have Neely attack the wounded guy. Oh, but he's... Mm. Now we'll just attack the guy in front of us. Should we shove? Maybe we should shove. No, let's just attack twice. Let's just try to end it quicker. All right, so 56 two times. Yeah, 60 on the first. 
70 on the second. Neely is not doing well. Okay. Next guy. Good guy. The bomber attack twice. That's really just a minus five against the wounded guy. Needs a 68. 95 on the first. Oof. Okay, that'll do. Better that time. D6. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> okay. Alright, back to the bag. Bad guy. See who gets to go left or right. Right. Let's roll. So he's attacking left to right. Left. He'll attack Neely this time. Needs a 50. He's got a 58, so that won't happen. My good guy. I think door link is just to apply a bandage here. Let's try that. Monty. He's down a couple. He'll check as a 32. He got it, okay. Heal a d4. Two more, so Monty goes up to full. Awesome. Um, that was one action. I guess we just burn another action. Monty can't squeeze through it anymore. Yeah, we'll just turn. I guess we'll focus. We'll focus again and see what happens. And now the other bandit wants to go. Who will he attack? Bomber. Another 50. Let's see if he does a standard or power. Standard two times. First one. 60 is a miss. Second one. 42, okay, d6 damage, that's just one location, torso, let's check our stuff, four, I think the one damage goes through, this is jacket is busted, yep, the one damage goes through on bomber. Okay, that's that. Let's see if we can't finish it this time. Scenario four. Who's up? Okay, come on, y'all. Come on. Two attacks from Bomber on the wounded guy. 53 needed. First one, 33. Damage, three. So he's hit for one more. Second one, 98. Goodness gracious. Another good guy. So have Neely do the same thing. Attack the big guy. Try to keep an activation from happening. Minus 15 for him is a 41. Two at 41. First one misses. Second one misses. All right. Good gravy. Good guy. I really don't know. Just aim, I guess. <laughs> Next guy. Yeah, I don't think Monty can really do anything. Someone's at good health. 
Yeah, okay. Just activate the bad guys and try again. First one, left or right. Left, he will attack. Bomber at 50. Let's see, power, standard. Standard two times. Missed the first. Missed the second. Big guy attacks. Bomber. Standard power. We can only do one. Uh, so 33. That'll hit. Get a plus five because of his battle hammer anyway. Um, damage is a 10. Five. On the noggin. Ouch. Padded cap is present. Five minus two is three to nine. All right. All right. Come on, man. Three. All right. I should have shoved a long time ago just to make room for Dorlin. Uh, being stubborn. Neely can attack the guy in front of him twice. So he needs 46. First one. 43. Damage. There's a 7 minus 1, so he's hit for 6. Attack again. Miss. Okay. Okay, come on, Bomber. Finish it, dude. Let's attack the guy in front of us twice. 53. 53. All right, 37 damage is... Good. Five minus two, three more. Will that do it? Nearly. He's at 11. 53. Okay, good. Another 31. We just need one damage. Come on. More than a two. One. All right. Let's see if we can have something happen. All right, bad guys. Each are wounded. Let's pick which one to go. Left or right? Left. Who will he attack? Right bomber. So he needs a 50 to hit. He'll miss. So let's go back to the bag here. This has been the longest hallway fight ever. I think I say that every time we have a long, odd encounter. All right, not a good guy. I really should have just moved back a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been stubborn thinking we could finish it off, but uh, absolutely not. We'll just focus and aim again if there's any chance to get through. All right, focus and aim again. So the two bad, the other blast bad guy gets to go. He can attack who? He'll attack Neely. He's a 50 plus five. Oh, 55. Okay, so he'll hit. Damage is, ooh, a 10. Ouch, where is it coming? What's oh, a two, no, just kidding. Four, so torso. Oh, we'll hit something in our quick slot too. 10 coming through on the torso. So seven goes through. Neely gets wounded. I guess we could we could try to we could try to dodge here. Get 36 or 26. Yeah, no way. All right. Hopefully this is the last round here. I just feel like if we just shoved, we'd finally just take them out and it would be. I don't know. I've been very stubborn here. One on the scenario. Good guy. Oh, goodness.
goodness gracious. Let's do a power attack against the big guy with Neely. Yeah, so plus 20. Oh, he can't. He's got one. Oh, it's two AP, isn't it? Yes, okay. Well, just a straight attack then. He needs a 46. Come on, buddy. 47. All right. 63 two times. 53 two times. 66. 30. Six. Oh my goodness, big guy's out. Oh. Okay. Big guy, I need to get a heal. Heal on Neely. Arcane. Fifty six here. Yeah, a five. Nice. Nine points. So Neely's good. All right. Just one bandit left. Throw and gone. Nice of Dorlin. Yeah, I'll just let the Dorlin stay there. Let the bandit go. Who does he want to attack? Bomber needs a 50. 90. Lost it. Okay. Scenario. Seven. Bombers scooching around. One, two. We're gonna attack. Plus twenty. Um, yeah, so it'd be like an eighty-eight. Oh, good thing. Seventy-one damage. Is a six minus one, so it's five. All right, so he's got one left. See if Neely can't finish him off. Yeah, that'll miss. Next one. Forty two should be good. So there's minus five. Yeah, it would have been 51 there. Damage. Nine. Okay. Wow. Tough bandits here. I think we're going to call it. I think with all the penalties we have for being encumbered, I think we're going to go back and rest. Now we'll have to do the travel phase. I might film that. Might just might just move on. Um <clears throat> and do all this stuff off screen so then I'll travel back through get to this hallway again we'll do some encounters and of course I'll fill everyone in and then uh yeah hopefully we'll we'll finish this quest but that's it um, thanks for watching friends thanks for bearing with the all the little errors and mistakes it's oh my it's tough to juggle especially when you're just playing by yourself and you have four characters and you have a lot of rules changing every encounter but appreciate everyone giving love to the, the channel and the game. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.